guys, Jeff from Worldwide Cycler here. Today we're gonna go over will SRAM Eagle work for your bike and what exactly you need to get that on there for the upgrade. So SRAM Eagle, super popular drivetrain these days, 500% gear range, uh, 12 speeds in the back. It's pretty much become a uh, extremely popular product and done really well for us. A lot of people are riding it, they're loving it, it's great. So what is required to get that stuff on your bike? So let's just start off right off the bat with the most confusing part, and that is the cassette and the free hub body. So SRAM Eagle uses an XD free hub body. This is the same free hub body that was required for the SRAM 1x11 product. This is what it looks like. We'll have some other pictures popping up right here. There's a couple common free hub bodies. There's a Shimano free hub body, which you've probably seen a million times. It's the most common one. When SRAM came out with their 1x11 drivetrain, that was with the introduction of the XD free hub body. So if you're not familiar with what a free hub body is, it's this part on your hub right here. It's the part that the cassette actually connects to. Um, it does come off of the hub shell. And like I said, there's two different main ones, the Shimano one and now the SRAM XD one. So this is the most confusing part. It's do you have this already? or do you need to buy one? And if you need to buy one, where do you figure out where to buy it? What hub does you, do you have and does it fit that? That's the most complicated part. So you do need an XD free hub body. Every, it's gotta be made by that manufacturer. So if you have an Industry 9 hub, you're gonna need an Industry 9 XD free hub body. Same thing with DT Swiss, um, Mavic, all these different race face. This bike's got race face wheels on it with vault hubs. It's got an XD free hub body made by race face. Uh, so the manufacturer of the hub is going to be the manufacturer of the XD free hub body. Once you get that on there, the cassette's going to be able to go on no problem. So these cassettes thread on to that free hub body, uh, quite a bit different than the way the Shimano one worked, but that really is sort of the glaring question. If you're confused on if you already have an XD free hub body or if someone makes one, some manufacturer makes one for your wheel set, just let us know or, or ask around. If you've got a good local bike shop or any of the, you know, your, your local bike guru, that's kind of the easiest way to figure that out. Aside from that, uh, the next most important thing that you know, we hear a lot of questions about is the cranks and the chain ring. So as much as SRAM would want you to believe that you need a SRAM Eagle crank set and a SRAM Eagle chain ring, you actually don't. So the uh, just traditional 10 speed, 11 speed uh, chain rings will work just fine with the 12 speed Eagle chain. This bike right here has got a set of race face cranks on it and a race face chain ring. Uh, my bike right now has got a set of race face cranks and a wolf tooth chain ring. So the, all those normal chain rings that you know and love, they work just fine with the 12 speed Eagle chain. You do need the 12 speed Eagle chain. So kind of the things you must have, Eagle derailleur, Eagle cassette, Eagle chain and Eagle shifter. So uh, at the moment they make GX, X01 and XX1. So that's kind of the different price points they've got right now and weight ranges. Uh, this bike right here, I believe it's got X01 on it. And like I said, doesn't have an Eagle crank, not necessary to have that. Uh, although the Eagle crank is great. Eagle chain rings are great. Uh, do they hold the chain better than the other brand chain rings out there? That's up for debate, pretty hard thing to, to prove that either way. Um, that's really the, the main points right there. There at the moment is, uh, I believe it's Sunrace, there's only one other company out there that's making a 12 speed cassette that actually fits on a Shimano Freehub body that's a 1150 instead of a 1050. Um, that's kind of a, a workaround if you really don't want to get an XD Freehub body. Uh, that's, I don't recommend it, but it is an option if, uh, if, if you really don't want to spend the high dollar on the Eagle cassettes. So that's about it, you know. Um, Anything else question wise, feel free to ask us. We're experts and we eat, sleep and breathe mountain bikes and any other questions regarding if this stuff will fit on your bike, just let us know. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're curious to know, are you guys a fan of the Eagle drivetrain or do you prefer something else? Let us know in the comments. Feel free to subscribe or like the video. We're trying to produce a lot more cool videos around this kind of high-end mountain bike stuff. So let us know what you think.